Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. In my previous video, we have talked about the subtraction of integers and I had a spell that in my next video that I'm going to talk about multiplication and division of integers, this is quite an easy topic. So if you haven't watched my lecture in the subtraction of integers, please click the suggested video above. For this video, we are going to talk about multiplication of integers. Let's make it easy. Have you remembered the rules in subtraction of integers? That is how we navigate removing the parentheses and multiplying the signs. This will also go with multiplication and division of integers. For the rules, positive and negative makes a negative. Negative and positive makes a negative. Positive and positive makes a positive. Negative and negative makes a positive. To make it short, for unlike signs, it is always a negative. For like signs, it is always a positive. But before we proceed, let me tell you about the parts of a multiplication equation. The first number that you will find is the multiplicand. In this case, it's negative 6. The second number you will find is the multiplier. In this case, it's negative 4. Both negative 6 and negative 4 are called factors, and the answer in multiplication is called product. Now let's go back to our rules. For like signs, the answer is positive. Since the sign of negative 6 is negative and the sign of negative 4 is negative, the answer is positive. Next, we multiply 6 and 4, the answer is 24. For our next example, negative 11 multiplied by 20. Since 11 is negative and 20 is positive, automatically they are unlike signs. Now the final answer is always a negative. We multiply 11 and 20, the answer is negative 220. For a third example, 5 multiplied by negative 30. 5 is positive, negative 30 is negative. Now they are unlike signs. The final answer is negative and 5 multiplied by 30 is 150. The final answer is negative 150. For a fourth example, negative 8 multiplied by 0. Any number multiplied by 0, the answer is 0. And for a last example, negative 12 multiplied by negative 8, they are both negatives, therefore the answer is positive. Multiply 12 and 8, the answer is 96. Now for this example, there is a missing factor. It is our multiplier in this case. Now remember that division is the inverse of multiplication. So how do we find the missing multiplier? We proceed to division. We put the product divided by the multiplicand or one of the factors. Now the product is negative 15 divided by negative 3 since they are like signs. Like signs is equal to positive. Then divide the numbers. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So the final answer is 5. Let's put it in the answer. And of course, we have to check. Negative 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to negative 15. Negative 3 and positive 5 are unlike signs. Therefore, the answer is negative, negative 15. Now, we can conclude that 5 is the correct answer. Another example, we have negative 40 is equal to negative 1 multiplied by something. Again, since division is the inverse of multiplication, we will proceed with division, negative 40 divided by negative 1. Remember, when we proceed to division, we have to divide the product by one of the factors to find the other factor that is missing. We have negative 40 divided by negative 1. That is like signs. Therefore, the answer is positive. 40 divided by 1 is equal to 40. Now, the answer, 40. Of course, we have to check our answer. Negative 40 is equal to negative 1 multiplied by 40. 1 and 40 have unlike signs. Therefore, the answer is negative 40. Now, our answer, 
40 is the correct answer. We have another case. In this case, we have three factors. Now, to make this easy, we have to first multiply the two given factors. That is negative 7 and negative 3. The answer is positive 21 because they are like signs. Now, we only have one factor missing. What we have to do is we proceed to division. Negative 21 is the quotient. Therefore, we divide negative 21 by 21 to find the answer that is negative 1. Now, we check our answer. Negative 7 multiplied by negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 is equal to negative 21. Now, negative 7 and negative 3 is equal to 21 that is given already. And then we multiply it by negative 1. The answer is negative 21. Therefore, our answer, negative 1, is correct. And that's the end of our lesson in multiplication of integers. Always remember, if you have unlike signs, the product is automatically negative. And for like signs, the product is automatically positive. You just have to multiply the numbers that are given. Please click the subscribe button and bell button for notifications. Thank you. Let's proceed with division of integers. For division of integers, we still follow the same rule that we follow in the multiplication of integers. For unlike signs, the quotient is negative. For unlike signs, the quotient is positive. Quotient is the answer in division. The first number you will find in this case is 63, that is our divided. The second number you will find in this case is 9, that is our divisor. And the answer in division is called the quotient. Now, 63 and 9 are both positives. Therefore, the answer is positive. We divide 63 by 9, our answer is 7. For next example, negative 88 divided by negative 8. They are both negatives. Therefore, the quotient is always a positive because they are like signs. We divide 88 by 8. The answer is 11. For third example, 125 divided by negative 5. 125 is positive. Negative 5 is negative. Therefore, they are unlike signs. Now, the final answer should be negative. We divide 125 by 5. The final answer is negative 25. For our fourth example, negative 144 divided by 16, 144 is negative and 16 is positive. Therefore, they are unlike signs. The final answer should be a negative. We divide 144 by 16. The final answer is negative 9. For our final example, 0 divided by 50 is equal to 0 divided by any number is always 0. Now, another tip. Any number divided by zero is undefined. For this example, we have a missing divisor because 42 is our dividend, the negative 2 is our quotient. So how do we find our missing divisor? Remember that multiplication is the inverse of division. For a missing dividend, we multiply. For the missing divisor, we divide. For this case, we have a missing divisor. Therefore, we proceed to division. Let's put the dividend divided by the quotient. Now, 42 is the dividend. That is 42 divided by negative 2. Since 42 is positive and 2 is negative, the final answer is negative, And then we divide 42 by 2. The answer is negative 21. Of course, we have to check our answer. 42 divided by negative 21 is negative 2 because 42 is positive and 21 is negative. Check our answer. Therefore, it is correct. For this example, the missing is the dividend. You can see it there. For missing dividend, we multiply. Now, what do we multiply? The divisor and the quotient. We proceed to multiplication. Now, 8 or positive 8 multiplied to negative 8 is negative 64 because they are unlike signs. Then we multiply 8 and 8. Therefore, the answer is negative 64. Of course, we check it. 
negative 64 divided by 8 are unlike signs, therefore the final answer is negative 8. Our answer, negative 64, is correct. And that ends our lesson in division of integers. I hope that you've learned a lot in multiplication and division of integers, although this is quite an easy topic. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.